we're here at Darby today because Darby is showing the state of Montana and actually the entire country how it's done. We just had the opportunity to have a great mountain man breakfast. It was breakfast after the bell. It was served in the classroom with kids that we know when they get a good breakfast, they're going to be much more attentive in school. Their math scores are actually higher. Teachers across the country say at the end of the day that this actually impacts overall success rates. One of the reasons that we're here, Share Strength works on this issue in 50 states, but we have found that the biggest difference is made when a governor and the first lady really embrace this issue as Governor Bullock and Lisa have. It's that kind of leadership, that kind of vision that really inspires school districts, superintendents and others to do what's right for kids. And so we, we really see what's happening here as a model governor oh. for a lot of other yeah. states around the country and, and, come, and really appreciate your leadership. To come here uh, to Darby and uh, see the success that this school has had what, uh, last year, uh, only 30% of the kids were participating in the breakfast after the bell program, and now it's 76%. My gosh, what a great example for the rest of the country. Yeah. And I'd be willing to guess, Governor, that of all the problems you deal with, and I know that there are many challenges, this is one of the most solvable, right? We have the resources. These are you know, federally reimbursed programs um, that resources exist to solve this problem. Wow. See, this is, this is, how this, this is pretty cool. Yeah. A school to make their own salsa and their own breakfast like this. this That's is amazing. amazing. There are uh, you know, so many ways to uh, address a breakfast after the bell. Uh, the school here is, is doing it in such a creative way. A lot of schools still uh, you know, get the uh, pre-made uh, breakfast and stuff. But here, there's a wonderful uh, lady I just met, Tong, who is here. Uh, cooking all these breakfasts uh, that are so delicious, and uh, you can see the, uh, the joy on the kids' faces. They uh, chow down, and they really love it. And that salsa, we gotta get everything yeah. But also one of the things that we need to recognize is that doing it after the bell gets rid of any stigma. When every child has the opportunity to have a little bit of breakfast as they're preparing for the day, it's minimal intrusion on the actual classroom and it sets all the kids off um, on the right foot. Just to follow up, Governor, on one point that both you and Lisa made in terms of the connection uh, between breakfast and academic achievement, uh, we had Deloitte do a study for us, big international consulting firm, and they found that in the schools that are doing this, breakfast after the bell, breakfast in the classroom, math scores are 17 percent higher. Attendance rates are a couple days longer. That correlates to rating on reading on grade grade level. So uh, and, in kids fact, in the, and kids in the uh, nurses too. I mean, yeah, drop in nurses yeah. visits. Uh, Great, uh, certainly for the community where that small school uh, is set up, but also it's inspiring for all the other small, you know, smaller communities in the United States. And uh, one of the uh, one of the purposes of this uh, tour that we're doing for the No Kid Hungry program is to highlight schools like this one here in Darby uh, and to spread the word to uh, to other uh, states. So it's. Um, it's been wonderful to be here and to see what uh, what this school is doing. It's really terrific. One of the things that uh, Jeff and I have been doing around the country is trying to uh, build up support for the idea of adding one million more kids nationally to the breakfast program over the next two years. It's increased dramatically just over the last two. We've added three million kids, so we think we could add another million kids around the country. I've been involved with um, the hunger issue for about 30 years. It started out with interna uh, international uh, problem of uh, world hunger, and then my focus shifted here uh, to hunger in America about in, around 1985. And uh, I got on board with Share Our Strengths and their No Kid Hungry program when I saw how effective it was and how uh, solvable the problem is, as Billy pointed out. And I said, well, you know, let's, let's concentrate on that. So my organization, the End Hunger Network, shifted all our attention to the No Kid Hungry program. It's pretty simple. We just go out and make sure that kids are fed.